Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Mike the Caveman Q and here again, Paleo Problem Long Island, MikeTheCaveman.com. Today's question is, should you be eating oatmeal? I'm the caveman. And the answer is, possibly, but probably not. And if we're talking about the instant stuff, then definitely not. Yes, the Quaker Oats guy has been lying to you all those years. Sorry to break it to you. Now, when we're talking about oatmeal, one of the biggest problems is gluten cross-contamination. While oats themselves do not contain gluten, they are often grown and processed in fields and factories alongside gluten-containing grains like wheat, barley, and rye. That being said, oats aren't out of the water just yet because just like all the other grains, oats contain a prolamine called avenin. And while it's not gluten, if it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then maybe it's, I don't know, a goose? Whatever. Either way, the fact of the matter is that in sensitive populations, that avidin can cause an issue. All of that being said, they are an excellent source of fiber and beta-glucans, which are an immune-boosting polysaccharide or carbohydrate also found in mushrooms. So if you're not experiencing gastrointestinal issues or an autoimmune condition, particularly celiac, then yeah, there may be a place for them. What you may want to do is consider taking a carb tolerance test with that oats. Now, if you've been paying attention to my Instagram story, I've been doing that this week, and at the end of the week, I'll put a whole summary on what it actually is for, and what I chose, and the whole process, how the results came out. But, oats didn't make the cut for this week. Either way, what you can do is you can take your blood glucose two hours after consuming them. You can also take your fasting blood glucose and see how much it causes a spike. Also be aware of any subjective symptoms. Do you have any stomach upset? Did you get a rash breaking out? Is your head foggy? Be aware of what those oats do to you and see if it's a problem. If not, and you're otherwise generally healthy, then yeah, there may be a place for some oats. Should they be a predominant part of your diet? No. If you do choose to do them, what should we be doing? Well, just like with other grains and legumes, soaking them first. Soak, sprout, and ferment your grains. In the case of those oats, make sure you're getting a quality, gluten-free, certified, steel-cut oat, and then soak it overnight, and you should be all right. So, the biggest takeaways are that, yeah, maybe there is a place in a healthy diet for some oatmeal, provided you don't have explicit gastrointestinal issues or autoimmune conditions. If you do choose to consume them, just make sure you are properly preparing them and soaking them overnight. From there, though, just don't make it the bulk of your diet. If you really want a healthy breakfast, go have some bacon and eggs. Yeah, I know. Either way, though, guys, hope this helped you out. You know what to do. Like and subscribe down below. Share it with your friends. Head over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Mike the Caveman over on Facebook at Paleo Problem Long Island. And of course, over at MikeTheCaveman.com. That being said, enjoy the rest of this beautiful weather. Maybe have some oatmeal. Probably not. I'll see you tomorrow. The answer is. Yeah, probably. Now, we've talked about I'm the number of